Well, greetings, viewers and boyers, and welcome here with Got That Funk. Thanks for joining me. This is a video response to a comment I got a week or so ago on one of my videos, um, one of my older videos, actually. Uh, I've recently gained a new subscriber who has done me the honor of actually going back and looking at some of my older videos. And I, I'm always thrilled when people go, hey, what, you know, what's this guy been doing before? Because my older videos are lots better than my newer ones. <laughs> anyway, um, that's not what this is about, though. I want to respond specifically to this comment because um, I think it's an, a, a good question, and I know it comes from a good place. And if there's any way I can help, I'll I'll give it a shot. All right. So uh, this viewer's name is Sunny Summer Sundays, and uh, here's the main part of her comment. She says, "You are a very confident guy." Can you make a video on how you developed high self-confidence and high self-esteem? I have low self-esteem sometimes, and it really makes me feel like crying sometimes. So I just really want to ask a person who's super confident how to do it. And sometimes I feel really depressed. Do you have any advice for how to, um, for me on how to cheer up? Well, first of all, um, I can answer both questions in the same way. And uh, I, I'm pretty sure I recall in one of your previous comments to this, you mentioned that uh, you are you don't have any faith. You're a non-believer. So hopefully this advice won't uh, make you feel uncomfortable or the way I phrase it won't because, you know, I'm personally of the opinion that there's much more wisdom to be found in music over the past 50 years than there is in the entirety of human mythology and religious text. And with that in mind, I would just like to point a song out that's you know pretty cheesy but I happen to think this song is epic and full of really good sound advice even though it's just a cheesy song uh, and that's the greatest love of all I first heard that by George Benson way back in the day and then it was more famously covered by Whitney Houston and you know learning to love yourself is the greatest love of all that is like profound if you take it on and I would advise taking it on. You know, uh, it's it's not always easy, and it's a process. You can't just decide by snapping your fingers to love yourself, and everything's going to be cool. You know, it's definitely a process. But um, you know, if you think in my videos that I appear to be confident, you're not necessarily wrong. I I, I tend to come across as confident to most everybody that I meet. So I guess it's a fair comment, but confidence as such isn't all it's necessarily cracked up to be. And I, I think sometimes the grass is greener on the other side because one of the problems with being, I, I've joked in my life that I'm, I was burdened with overconfidence, you know, uh, from birth <laughs> uh, because I often in my life bite off way more than I can chew. Um, I try things that are simply beyond my capabilities you know and that can be pretty frustrating it doesn't make me feel like a bad person or uh, it doesn't really sap my confidence but it's just like a reality check you know and and uh, it's always good to be grounded in reality and if your reality is that you're not naturally spontaneously self-confident um, I my advice would be to learn to love yourself anyway don't worry about whether you're confident or not if you learn to love yourself that will exude itself as confidence it doesn't necessarily have to mean that you're uh, you know the center of attention or you're, you're like a really smooth talker or anything like that you know being cool with yourself is what it's all about that's where confidence emanates from you know um, anything else anything else is an act and you know even then it can still be an act because again as someone who's you know a, lots of people seem to consider me to be a confident person I would basically say that you know sometimes people who are confident are, are it's a shield as well you know your confidence is a self-defense mechanism you know it's a way of uh, pushing out so you don't let too much in as it were so yeah you know you need to be realistic about how you feel about yourself you know I don't know you personally so I can't tell you what there is to love about yourself but I guarantee you there's loads you know that that's that is a given you know just the fact that you want to improve yourself speaks highly of you you know so take that kind of thing on board you know that doesn't mean nothing it means quite a lot you know this is part of who you obviously are you want to be a better person 
in your own version of better if that means confident like i said it's simple learn to love yourself be okay with yourself even if you don't feel confident it will come across that way because you're cool with yourself and you know that's the other thing you know there's the confidence that you feel and there's the confidence that other people perceive and they're not always the same thing I think that's where I'm going to wrap up this video. As to the second part of your question, I will only say briefly that, um, again, cheering up comes from being okay with yourself. So that's the same advice, and I strongly recommend that you try to take it on board one day at a time, one step at a time, and I wish you all the best. Thank you for your question. It gave me a really good excuse to talk about this in a video. Until next time, everybody, welcome aboard the Got That Funk Express. And may all your ups and downs be ups.